Hello, I'm Michael Novak, and welcome to Philharmonic First Fridays at Four, a series of musical programs featuring members of the Santa Maria Philharmonic in unique and intimate settings throughout the county. Today we are in Santa Barbara at the First Congregational Church on State Street, not far from the famous Santa Barbara Mission. Established in the 1860s, the current building was dedicated in 1937, and it is a favorite venue for musicians for chamber music and for solo recitals because we love the acoustics here. Our featured performer today is Stephen Gross, principal horn of the Santa Maria Philharmonic. Stephen is internationally known on the French horn as a soloist, as a clinician, as a lecturer, and a teacher, and a recording artist, so he does it all. Before coming to the Central Coast to teach at UCSB, Stephen was a member of the Atlanta Symphony, the National Symphony in Washington, D.C., and the Cincinnati Chamber Orchestra. Joining Steve on today's program are Pascal Solomon, piano, and Julie Gross, French horn. A special thanks to our sponsors, Charles Boyd and Dan Woodson. Thank you so much. Mozart liked to write for horn. He wrote three complete concertis and uh, three incomplete movements and an unfinished concerto. And one of the things he liked to do with his horn playing was to fashion it in such a way as that it resembled the hunt, where people are carrying horns and signaling to each other. And the form that he preferred was the so-called rondo, which is in 6-8 time, which is da 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 And this really fits most closely with the hoofbeats of a horse, thus giving a very a, a real effect uh, to Mozart's music. Mozart uh, had some good friends who were wind players, and especially one horn player named Ignazi Leitgeb, who uh, grew up with Mozart in Salzburg and moved uh, before Mozart uh, to Vienna. And they were such great friends that um, they played a lot of jokes on each other. Uh, Leitgeb was uh, regarded as a very fine hornist, but Mozart wrote music that made fun of him. For example, he dedicated one of his concertos to the donkey, ox, and fool Leitgeb and he put marks in his music, such as bleeding of sheep before the trills. Uh, the piece we're going to play is the rondo from the second concerto of Mozart, and there are two jokes in it. So uh, the first joke is one where Mozart is making fun of the left hand and the bell, as we talked about earlier in the history of the horn. So you will hear Pascal making that rap, 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 fun of, of the horn player when we play this sound. The second joke that's in this piece is Mozart making fun of the light gibbs in memory. So at one point, uh, Mozart writes the piece so as to resemble the soloist completely forgetting his line. And then it actually happens twice and Mozart comes back in. At the very end of the piece, uh, the theme is pounded and pounded in, like you better remember this now. So this is uh, the example of the soloist forgetting the part.